Hi folks, Max from uh, GalaxyS2.com. So the Jelly Bean update has been uh, released for the T-Mobile Galaxy S2. Uh, let me show you how to update it manually in case you're rooted on a custom ROM. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, put it into download mode. Now if you're coming from a custom ROM, you'll probably want to do a factory reset before you uh, unroute. So go ahead and um, press volume up, volume down, and the power button. And then um, go ahead and let it go of the power button, and this will get you into Clockwork Mod Recovery if you're uh, if you're rooted here. And go ahead and do Wipe Data Factory Reset. Now remember, this will erase all of your settings, all of your apps. So do use uh, do make a backup ROM if you want, you know, just in case, or also uh, and or make a, a titanium backup uh, app backup. So back up your apps. Uh, if you have done those, go ahead and wipe data factory resets. You can also do this after you unroot, but I recommend doing it before uh, because this will only erase your settings and uh, apps. Now with the newer Jelly Bean Samsung, uh, you might have to be careful uh, because some sometimes they'll er erase the contents of your internal storage. So that's why we did it. If you're not, if you don't have a custom recovery installed and you if, uh, just rooted on a stock ROM, you don't even have to do this, you can just go uh, skip this part and go to the next step here. Uh, so the next step, what we're going to do is go ahead and put it into download mode. Next go ahead and uh, plug in the USB cable and then hold down uh, volume up, volume down, oops, volume up, volume down, and then hold down the power button until your phone resets. So that's volume up, volume down, I'm pressing both, and also the power button, and wait until your phone resets. When your phone resets, you feel the vibration, let go of the power button, but keep holding down volume up, volume down. And as long as your USB cable's in, you'll be able to get into download mode. If you failed here and uh, rebooted or um, it went into clock remote recovery, make sure your USB cable is plugged in and try it again. Go ahead and hit volume up, and let's go to our computer. So next, you'll need to download the actual firmware. It's going to be in a zip format. Uh, this file is called T989UVMC6. Uh, blah blah dot zip this is the firmware zip file now you have to unzip it inside you'll find an md5 file so go ahead and extract all files um, using winzip or 7zip or um, just using the windows default unzipper which is included by default so I'm gonna go ahead and extract it and you'll find this file ending in tar.md5 alright I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this alone and also you'll need to download Odin uh, download Odin version 1.85 unzip the files and you'll find v Odin v185 go ahead and double click and you should see Odin pop up on your window it's popped up on my other window there or my other screen and next go ahead and choose don't touch anything else uh, and also make sure the yellow com highlighted side is on if it's not on uh, install Samsung USB drivers and, it, and then unplug your phone and plug it back in. Once you have that yellow highlighted sign, do not touch anything else. Go ahead and hit PDA and go find the file you just unzipped. Uh, I put it in here. So that's the tar.md5 we just unzipped up here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that, hit open, and hit start. Now, this is an official stock firmware. Um, so you will lose root, but rooting method is same as ICS and Gingerbread. It never changes it, for this phone, especially for this phone, because the recovery partition is separate uh, from um, the kernel. So regardless of the version updates, the root method stays the same. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Go ahead and hit start. This will start unrooting your phone uh, back to the latest Jelly Bean, or it will also update to the latest jelly bean uh, if you're on stock uh, gingerbread rooted this is also another way you can manually update and when you use key Samsung key software to update it's doing exact same thing we're doing um, except that it's under the keys uh, software so we're pretty much doing exactly the same thing it's doing but doing it manually we can do it if, you know if keys doesn't want to update for some reason um, also if you're not able to download those updates for some reason um, you can you can do it here. If it's hanging like this, um, go ahead and try to try to uh, do it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my 
my cord out and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take my battery out real quick and I'm gonna leave my cable in here and we're gonna try the same process again volume up volume down and the power alright and keep holding it down until it resets whoops make sure your USB plug is filled in try it again sometimes it may hang there you go I'm gonna I'm gonna try it again alright let's go back to our our computer All right, I'm gonna try it again don't be alarmed if it fails sometimes it happens setting up connection now it's working so sometimes the second time is the charm uh, and also if you're still having problems try another USB port um, it's pretty safe if it fails it won't break your phone um, the only time I've actually seen people break their phone is uh, not using Odin because this one actually checks for the correct model number of your phone um, so it's pretty much automatic but when you install like a Galaxy S3 ROM on the Galaxy S2 then you can have a brick I actually did that actually I installed uh, one of the T-Mobile Galaxy S2 ROMs on the Galaxy S3 and that was not fun anyway I'll be back when this is done and uh, I'll fast forward all this Hi folks, so it is done and it's reset it and let me go ahead and change the uh, angle here. For some reason it failed, don't worry, don't trip it out, don't trip out. Uh, if you get some kind of uh, keys error mode or something uh, on your phone, you can rerun Odin in that mode. Again, try another USB uh, port. If you still have trouble, make sure keys is off in your task manager uh, here. Make sure keys is off. Um, just end all the processes that start with keys. And uh, if you're still having trouble, just try with another computer and it w will work. So let me go ahead and change the angle real quick here. So it is booting and uh, I will be back when this boots completely. Hi folks, boot time about two minutes uh, for the first time. And I've got it here and uh, here we go. This is going to be an exciting day. I know multi-window will be here very soon. I don't think this actually has multi-window. Uh, but with with the uh, Jelly Bean framework, we should be able to get multi-view working fully in no time. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, but don't shoot me if it never happens. But I'm, I think it will be here pretty soon. I uh, believe it's only a matter of time and here we go I've got uh, Jelly Bean running here uh, just fine everything reset it here uh, there's no multi window but let's go ahead and take a look real quick uh, about device Android 4.1.2 and lock screen uh, this is going to be great there's going to be a ton of new ROMs uh, coming out based on this and also we've seen uh, leaks of this so it's not a huge deal but um, since this is official uh, this should be pretty good anyway that's how you update it uh, if you want to go root root method hasn't changed the main reason is because the recovery partition is separate from the kernel unlike other Galaxy S2's um, so this is you know um, you can go root it go ahead and follow the root instructions I'll have the link to it on my website and uh, yeah um, you should have a jelly bean now. Uh, that's how you manually update using Odin if you have trouble or if you're on the custom ROM that's how you can get the latest uh, jelly bean and then now you can go reroute it use titanium backup app to restore your apps if you made backup of your apps uh, and that's it and if you have a Galaxy S2 as always don't forget to sign up for my email it's at galaxyS2root.com we update you once a week with ROM of the week tips hacks and more and also if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me here subscribe button down there and I'll see you guys later go enjoy your jelly bean I'm gonna go play with it alright see y'all later <laughs>